Hello and welcome. Hello, my name's Victoria and this is Adam. Hello, I'm Adam. I'm the one bouncing up and down. I'm the one in a boat. <laughs> and we are in Minecraft. Yes, welcome to Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. And typically it it's is raining. raining. Oh, there we go. We'll so, stop in a minute. <laughs> this is our very first video blog for the writing platform and we have been awarded the bursary this year to develop a project using poetry in Minecraft and looking at the relationship between the two. Yeah. Uh, so what this video blog it really is going to be, it's going to be me and Victoria wandering around this uh, world that I've created, uh, which is our kind of blank world, is our experimental world, uh, and having a conversation. Indeed. You may notice that I'm quite slow as I walk around. I've still got to work out how to stand up. Um, I am a complete newbie to Minecraft. I've done played a couple of times with my family, uh, with my delightful son, who is teaching me. Uh, but I am fascinated by the creativity that it inspires in people. I watch my son playing, and my husband playing, and my friends playing, and it is just an amazing game. So, contrary to my previous things in life where I haven't been interested in video games, I've actually started thinking, okay, this is really interesting. What is the relationship between this game and, say, the thing that I'm passionate about, which is poetry? So, here we are. Let's see if I can stand up. And if you press shift, I think you'll be able to get out of your boat. Um, left shift, it's on the keyboard. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not a complete newbie with a keyboard. Okay. Let's cut that uh, so anyway, yeah. So this is uh, to Minecraft, and um, you know, Minecraft is th that this phenomena that's happened. Um, it's got thousands of children playing it. Um, like millions. Millions, millions of children playing it around the world. And not just children. No, a adults as well. Actually, actually, I've just joined a Google group, uh, Google Plus group, which which is kind of over forty year olds. <laughs> <laughs> There's mm. quite a few of us, uh, all playing video games, so not just why? Minecraft and stuff. This is a good question though, because why? Whoa, sorry. That's all right. Um, why would it be so interesting? It's it's crossing very. You see, what I notice when I watch my son and his friends playing um, mm. is that they are totally in control of this. It's their creative realm. You know, I'm looking in and going, okay, uh, it's amazing the stuff that's getting created. And it, it starts off all sorts of conversations and all sorts of ideas. And, and yeah. I notice the same thing's happening with adults. They're creating amazing things. And it's sort of like this, there is literally, as, as we can see around us, there's this kind of blank platform to start from. Yeah, I mean, my, yeah, Minecraft has got uh, all these blocks. So we can, if we, if you press E on your keyboard, you can open up your <clears throat> inventory and you can kind of see we're in creative mode at the moment. And obviously it's creative mode gives you all the kind of different kind of blocks and materials to do whatever you want with. And that's the, I think the kind of the key to Minecraft. It's, it never really had a rule book. It never really had a story. It, uh, it just gave you a kind of a, a, a world, a, a ran supposedly randomly generated world that you could do whatever you like with um, and since then there's been other ways of manipulating that world too so uh, the world that we're in at the moment was created with another kind of uh, pla uh, another kind of piece of software um, and turned into a Minecraft world uh, so I'm just going to stop the rain because it's um, so what yeah it is getting a bit, it's tired, getting a bit tired. tired yeah absolutely so what I'm looking out at you see we, what we started talking about is how does that blank world relate to um, the blank page mm. as a writer as I approach the blank page let's say um, I'm thinking well what am I creating here and each word that I place down whoop, hi, I'll come down Hello, yep, each come word on. that I place down rather more fluently than I hop up and down on these blocks <laughs> um, is like a block what am I creating so how does this link to the idea that we create block by block a world within Minecraft mm. and kind of exploring poetry as well um, it, you know as, as a as a as a creative practice you know because um, Minecraft is is a very visual place it's a sort of three-dimensional space uh, it has got books in it and it has got um, ways of interacting with uh, with the world as well um, and I think uh, behind its simplicity Minecraft has got 
uh, possibly really some sophisticated tools and mechanisms for uh, creative engagement with young people and with ourselves as well and can be quite a moving space um, emotionally um, and uh, yet it's not something that you know people don't tend to think oh Minecraft that's a video game where <laughs> there's meaningful no I suppose meaningful not meaningful stories I think that there there's certainly recognition now that there's meaningful um, creations visually yeah and architecturally yeah but there's there's not so much about meaningful stories within Minecraft so that's one of my challenges as the poet part of this of this project is yeah. to to look at, at how a meaningful story can be entered into and played within the world of Minecraft yeah how can we yeah absolutely I think um, you know some of the work that I've done with Tate, we, you know, we, we've, we've tried to tell stories about artwork uh, mm. is, you know, is interesting. I think this this project has got um, it's got some really other other major challenges as well. Mm. Follow me this way, Maybe and we'll just moving forward would be one of them. <laughs> yeah, which is how do, make, how, do make, how do we make how do we make how do we make how do we make the written word interesting? Um, how do we kind of make poetry relevant? So you might be able to see. Yeah, so we've some words coming up there now. This that line there. I'll move closer to it. Okay, I'll you fly move closer. closer. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll come in about half an hour. Okay. As I plod along. Da -da 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 -da. No <laughs> so here we go. So I'm just flying towards this stuff. So that all the these words were actually made. In, there's a website you can go to actually and uh, type in any phrase or, or word, um, and then it'll it'll turn it into a schematic. And a schematic is a a collection of blocks that you can import into a Minecraft world using something called MC Edit. So we've got here, um, in my father's house, um, it takes a long time to load up. In my father's house are many rooms. Nope, that's wrong. Uh, um, in my father's house are many mansions. Yeah. Now, okay. The reason we've got this up, okay, is that I've had a line going round and round in my head and anybody that writes will probably recognize this sensation where there's just a line that keeps going round and round and round. And it's in my mother's house are many rooms. And I started thinking, well, where's this line come from? And quite to my surprise, <laughs> I found that it's actually an echo of a line from the Bible, which is John 14, 2, in my father's house are many mansions. Mm. Now, I wasn't thinking in terms of any biblical reference. Um, I wasn't really even aware that it was there. I think that this is that's that's a side point, but that's kind of an interesting thing as to, to how much do, do classic works influence us as writers when we're not even aware necessarily that they're doing it. Yeah, but and we're not. And the we're relevance not. of the word, the lines here, um, for me, the reading of it is to do with grief. Now, now that's also the line that was running through my head about in my mother's house and many rooms. So already I'm starting to think, well, okay, I'm, I'm treading into an unknown world here where the subject matter that is, is, is pulling me in is, is to do with grief and to do with life and loss. And I'm thinking, okay, how is that going to sit <laughs> with a blocky world of Minecraft? Yeah, uh, and a childlike world as well. Um, mm. Which many children play. So yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, lots of, um, if we look at children's literature and even some children's poetry, we can kind of see that there are some, there's some pretty heavyweight themes going on and, uh, you know, within, within literature and within kind of ideas of, uh, within children's literature as well as, you know, adult literature as well. So one of the kind of points I suppose you're talking about is where do we, where do we hang our hats, if you like, uh, you know, are we going to be doing something serious? and from the heart if you like or kind of uh, as a creative journey and, f and follow it whatever or are we kind of because it's a children's game what is there a tension there mm. you know how do you well also how, how do you bring together the idea of 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 something meaningful and from the heart in that sense with mm. a game you know, can can we? And I think there yeah. are examples of video games that have approached that. Yeah, yeah, there's have, quite a few. Um, and I think that that's that's another area. So you know, what's a video game? Is a video game a space where people can explore something in a very um, 
sort of first hand way mm. or is it a game you know and, and what is a game can a game be about grief can a game be about death and loss and um and yeah. life or is a game you know the idea that it's entertainment yeah and is what's game what's learning or what's entertainment what's experience or entertainment okay so i'm interested <laughs> here mm. we haven't actually shown people what we were what we were picnicking no on. no let, you, i'll fly up you i'll fly up because like, you'll be quicker than me yeah i'll fly up bye away i go so we are able to, as we see from over there, we can kind of create words um, out of, uh, in Times New Roman, funnily enough, uh, and we just wrote the word poem, we, we placed it on its back. So we can kind of, you know, Minecraft is good at the construction of words and almost like, remember Winnie the Pooh, uh, where he's running along, you know, mm. the cartoon, where he's running along the, the actual word on the screen and you can kind of see that, and Disney did that very well, uh, kind of to animate it and stuff. So you can kind of see the page and the 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 story um, entwining together, and I quite like I like those ideas. Uh, you know, I'm a visual artist by kind of trade, if you like, and kind of uh, and making things visual within Minecraft is really interesting, um, and especially words and typography as well. Kind of pulling that in as 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 blocks. So, so, so uh, here, come back down. I'm coming back. I'm, I'm found down. a door. Oh, yeah. Which brings me <laughs> to the next thing. So, the line we've got, in my father's house are many mansions. Or, as the line that was going around my head, in my mother's house are many rooms. Mm. And then I started to think about, well, what is a poem? Now, you might know, or not, that a stanza uh, translates roughly, and I mean roughly, mm. into the idea of a holding place or a room. So that got me started again what is a poem what are the stanzas a stanza by the way is the verse that a, a section of the poem so if you like you look at the poem as a series of rooms a series of spaces that you move through um a house if you like so yeah. each stanza is a different room that you're passing through okay. and the way that the poetry works is it, it navigates you through those rooms so you're not seeing all of them at the same time you're actually moving through so a rhyme a sound um a pattern of of of, of uh, rhythm um a repeated phrase these things are taking you through the rooms um so can we go in that room uh or is that just that's a swimming pool room that's a swimming pool it's room. kind I of like it, swimming. come on follow me <laughs> it's <I'm not> <laughs> i can fly oh no just keep going through this is our swimming pool we can we, we could swim through it and then we can go to the other oh. room the word oh, room there we that go. I, i've turned into there we go you see <laughs> there we go so we've literally <laughs> gone through the letter o <laughs> yeah now i'm going to just jump down here you see i think the thing is uh, as well because you know because we've got a son who's seven we're also and we we kind of play it with him a lot of our kind of I suppose the I way we describe things and the way we kind of talk about stuff, it, you know, and the and the work that I do as well, kind of my daily bread is is doing tutorials and making videos for young people, but also for for everyone. Um, here so we here go. we go. We yeah. are actually walking inside <laughs> the word the, <laughs> the word room. Yeah. So you start to see, it's, you know, this is this 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 is very skeletal ideas, but. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about um, the idea of, of, of a series of rooms being like a labyrinth yeah, yeah. Um, so if you, a labyrinth by its nature only has one path through it it's not a maze it has one path and the idea is that you kind of um, wander through the labyrinth and if you do that you will eventually wander your way back to where you started unless of course you get stopped by you know a raging bull or um, lost um, so you can't actually go off track you can just lose yourself in the meandering hmm. which is quite possible with me walking around yeah and I like that idea of meandering uh, and, and the idea of uh, the um, uh, uh, you know how some, some poems work and um, you know when you kind of when you first read a poem and then you next read a poem as well uh, it can change over time uh, because your perspective changes a little bit as well. Um, and that once you, you start at the beginning and end at the end, but actually once you get to the end of a poem, you're, you really do kind of 
come back to the beginning in that you see the whole poem again as something else. So we started looking at poet, poetic forms, um, yeah. you know, the villanelle, which which uses this kind of repetitive um, line movement through through the stanzas yeah. in a way that could be seen as, as like a labyrinth. So, you know, these, these are some of the questions that we've... Yeah, I mean, a labyrinth is very, um, is very Minecraft-y, you know, and so we're, we're kind of... So some of the ideas are, you know, do, do we build something that uh, echoes... Um, or even kind of is a construction, a physical construction of a poem. Um, do we, you know, and, and Labyrinth is really interesting. It's something that's been on uh, on the cards for me in the past and something I, I thought would be really cool. Then then I, we discovered the kind of, you know, constructing words within Minecraft as well, which is quite interesting. And then the kind of the, the idea of rooms or a house or a mansion uh, being a kind of a construction and you move through that as well. And then I suppose it's like, how do we so the questions that we've got now are Hello. how do we where are how I? do we deliver i don't know where you are you've disappeared I, ah! it's a sheep <laughs> up here how do we construct i just fell through i just <laughs> fell through a, a line oh. of poetry all right okay. oh, you're, you're over there <laughs> we yeah. what we could do is how do we how do we deliver the words you know because on, on in minecraft there are lots of ways of delivering words we can either um, construct something which will actually have a recording, and you could hear recordings of poems. We could have words like this that you see in the distance as you get nearer, and that's that's one of the ways of kind of delivering words. Words you can literally go inside. Yeah, that you can kind of yeah words that you adventure around over on top of and under. Mm -hmm. And then um, you've also got the the adventure side of Minecraft and yeah. discovery that there are. You know, there are clues within a poem to help help um, help us discover it, help us move yeah. through it. Yeah. So maybe that's to do with sounds or images or um, references that we can find, um, yeah. you know, and kind of literally dig up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely dig up and you know, dig into. Um, Get our teeth So that's, into. yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that I think... Oh, uh, I keep pressing the, the wrong button. You know... Poetry has been, you know, it's it was a, a verbal thing for many t many years. Then it's been on paper and in books for many years, and uh, and it would be great to kind of to to kind of see how far we can stretch it to see if we can push it into video games and other types of media as well. Um, you know, it's been on stage, it's, it's, you know, it's been lots, lots of different art forms, and I think video games are just another place for it to inhabit. Well, you've got the um, poem film as well, haven't you? Which yeah, is yeah. where you get this crossover between digital and and, um, and poem. Yeah, so... So, but this is... I suppose I want it to be fun, but also I want it to be serious too, which is why... Meaningful. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I suppose we'll, we'll fit on that. So, I think that's kind of... Uh, that's um, that's the kind of end of our first video blog. We're kind of we running out We have meandered. Of, we have meandered. We've kind of uh, let's wandered. Let's go back to our picnic spot. Yeah, let's Where is it? It's over here. I'm feeling rather peckish. Yeah, we're going to eat some, Woo, uh, some Minecraft bread. Words. Oh no, help! <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> so, I don't know if you can comment on the video or not, but if you have got any comments and you can leave them, then do leave them in below and we'll um, try and get back to If you've got comments and you can't leave them, just, you know. Yeah. Hold them to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we'll Send be, them by pigeons. We'll be doing another video know. very shortly. Um, Hang on, and I'm hopefully. To land. Uh, and, well, that's why I made a swimming pool here so we can just. Um, bang. We could dive bomb. Okay, so, I'm going back. Okay, I'm getting back in my boat. I'm there we go. Boat, anyway, so thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll be yeah, back. Yeah. We'll um, do another video very shortly. Well, where are you? I'm just okay. behind you. Well, bye. <laughs> bye now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>